Okay, so next on the menu is what we call multi-band uh, Dyna filter, or uh, the three-band dynamics processor. Uh, so I guess what you can say is that so it has a filter slope. All right, low gain, mid gain. All right. High gain, all right. Look up, which don't know what that means. Ceiling specifies maximum output level, and then LM is or LMX is low mid crossover frequency, mid high crossover frequency, pre presence, and then you got a compressor. We already went over that. And then this is what we call an expander, which we'll see what that does. All right, and a limiter. All right, yeah. So there's a I know a limiter is like kind of limits like how high or how loud it's going to be. So it's interesting using compressor and limiter together. That'd be kind of interesting idea. All right, so let's go to the beginning. Let's see what what each knob does. So it says slope. So always let's turn this slope down to zero okay now let's see what happens if we go to 12 o'clock and then all the way So I think this is like a more like advanced version of a compressor like you know you have way more options because you get a nice uh, even tone and it's uh, you don't get a lot of like peaks you know everything's just very even um, let me just put that at 12 o'clock that slope I don't know it doesn't really do much to me okay so let's go to the low gain. Let's turn up down to zero. Let's see how that sounds. Okay, so it sounds like like there's more highs, obviously, because we turn around the low. Let's turn up to 12 o'clock. A little bit more gain. Let's turn all the way up. Wow, that's a lot of low, low ends. So let's turn back a little bit. I like that, you know, it kind of gives uh, the guitar a little bit more body, I guess you say, like an acoustic guitar. Okay, now we got middle gain here, so obviously this is controlled like the mids. So why don't we turn that down, see how that sounds. Alright, so you get like a scooped mid sound. So these, these are just essentially just like EQ controls. Okay, um, so let's turn that up to 12. It's a very neutral tone. You know, I think this is really good for like trying to get a an acoustic type of sound out of an electric guitar, which is cool. Um, let's turn it up a little bit more. Yeah, too much mids, I think, in my opinion. So I think 12 o'clock is a good idea. Yeah, that, you know, that rhythm kind of gives it a good like acoustic rhythm to kind of feel. All right, now let's try the high. So it'd be really high bang. Yeah, it's pretty shrill. So in my opinion, I, I really don't like highs too much, so I think kind of back that off. Well, that's a little too much. So yeah, around like uh, three o'clock is good. Maybe a little bit more. That is pretty sensitive. There you go. Alright, let's see what the lookup does. Lookup delay. So right now it's at zero. Let's see if we go to 12 o'clock. Let's see how, what happens. Aha. Uh -huh. So this delay is kind of like where this uh, thing activates. There's a delay, so it's like... 
I can feel there's a delay from when I when I strum, when I strike to like when it sounds. So I guess if you're looking for a delay, but um, I don't find too much use for that. So I think you need a zero. That's good. Now let's see what ceiling is. Right now it's all the way. What's well, off? Okay, so let's see what happens if we turn it to the zero. Let's compare that to off. Let's compare that to when it's in 12 o'clock. Uh, it's another subtle effect. It's kind of useless in my opinion. Alright, let's go to where we have a uh, low MX crossover. See how that sounds? So let's try zero. Oh. There's like there goes all the lows. Okay, let's put it at 12 o'clock. And then compare that to all the way. So this just kind of filters I guess. This is kind of like a low high pass filter kind of ID, I guess. So, I'm not going to mess around too much with this. I'll leave it there where it was. Alright, presence. Well, I'm not going to deal with that either. And then we know about compressor. Now, look, I'm curious about the uh, expander. Okay. Alright, so right now it's um, off. Let's turn the thing on. Let's see what it does. So, off. On. Wow, it gives it more like just kind of warmth and depth to it. Compare that to off. Yeah, you know, I like this. It just really gives it more of an acoustic type sound. Wow, this is pretty exciting. Okay, uh, we have, uh, let's see, threshold. So, why don't we turn it to 12? Compared it to zero. Get to the clock. All the way. Not much uh, difference. So I'll just leave that there. Ratio. Let's see. We'll just leave it there. Um, and then there's like other stuff like release and stuff. Okay, let's let's look at the limiter, okay? Let's see what happens if we turn it on. Pair that we turn it off. Again, on. Alright, this I think this limiter is kinda like acting even like it works well with, I think, conjunction with the compressor, so I like this. Uh, I won't go too much in detail, but yeah, um, you know, I wouldn't, I didn't know what this uh, three band, you know, what do you call it, M band dyno, whatever thing called, three band dynamics processor. I don't know what it was, but you know what, it really kind of helps make the guitar sound more like an acoustic guitar. Got it gives a body, and this is really cool, actually.